Hi all, today we're going to be talking about the Tomo, the NSX scout rifle available to all factions, and all said and done, a relatively alright weapon, but unfortunately is outshined by other scout rifles, most notably the Vandal. So the Tomo is relatively unique in that it has obviously no damage drop off, it always does 112 damage per bullet at all ranges. However, this is made up for the, by the fact that it is a 2.5 times headshot multiplier, meaning that it is a 4 headshot kill at all ranges at 750 RPM, meaning that if you have the mechanical skill to click heads, it is a very nice to use scout rifle, but unfortunately the Vandal will still generally outperform it. Still, in the way of stats, you've got your 750 RPM, 112 damage with 0 fall off, 520 meters a second velocity, a okay reload at 2.9 long, 2.1 short, a relatively small ammunition pool for the fire rate of 22 rounds, pretty poor hit fire stats, pretty good aim stats, and as I mentioned, it has a higher headshot multiplier, meaning that, provided you are clicking heads, it will be a 4 headshot kill instead of the standard 5 available to 112 damage weapons. On the whole, the Tomo is a decent weapon. You know what, for what it is, if you have a mechanical skill to make it work, it is a fine Araxium if you're doing your NSX directive, if you're doing any kind of other specialty thing. Outside of that, I don't think it's worth generally running over the Vandal, even if you have the same mechanical skill, just because the Vandal generally is a bit better at everything it does. Still, it's a decent weapon. It's not anything that I would rush to pick up, but if you're in the mood for a scout rifle with a unique little gimmick on it, I don't think it's bad. So in the way of attachments, you have your standard 1-6x, to as you do. Honestly, pretty much everything here is viable in some way or the other. Pick your poison on your preference. I usually stuck to a 1 or a 2, but the 3.4 is viable if you want to go with something funny like the 6, you can. I would stick to a 1 or a 2 on the whole, but it does depend on how you play it. If you play it on more uh, close quarters classes like a heavy assault, I would run the 1. If you're trying to do some like just Mimi infiltrator play, you can run it with a bigger scope. Barrel option is pretty much entirely up to you. I like the Compensator, but I'll explain why. The combat, Given that this gun is pretty much worthless in hipfire because its entire gimmick relies on you scoring headshots to remain competitive, in my opinion the Compensator is the best pick here because it will just make doing that easier, you won't have to pull down as much. Other than that, the Flash Suppressor is a fine slot filler, and the Suppressor has no real downside besides the Velocity hit that can be easily learned and mitigated regardless. In addition, because the gun has no fall off, the suppressor's damage penalty just doesn't matter, so it really is just a 15% velocity hit. It also sounds really funky when you fire it with the suppressor. For example, I don't like it, but it's something worth owning for people that like that kind of thing. In the rail, honestly, I would either... I, mm, I would probably stick to the forward grip. Extended mag... so... The extended mag is two rounds. This doesn't really mean a whole lot. But at the same time, with how fast this gun burns through ammo, it can be nice to have, but on the whole, I think the forward grip is a stronger pick, because you'll be more likely to land the rounds that you need. Anything that makes a gun more reliable at head clicking is certainly a good pick here, and for that reason, the forward grip is nice. The angled forward isn't really useful, because it's just the way this gun recalls, it doesn't demand it. The laser sight is not worthwhile, because it's just a shit gun and hipfire anyway, and of course, the dark light is trash. The ammo slot. The heavy magazine, I would argue, is worth running, but it will hit your panic hipfire capability. Still, 5 rounds is a very big upgrade on this weapon, and honestly, you can justify it if you want to. I don't think it's, like, I don't think it's absolutely important to have, but if you really want those extra rounds, it is still a relatively decent option. So, here we are now, jumping into Primetime Hassan on Connery. It is currently 7.23pm. And, like usual, we're going to do some live play. I will be running it on Heavy Assault, but it works arguably probably best on Infiltrator, but it works fine on other classes, now that scout rifles are available to everything. The Tomo, on the whole, is a decent rifle. I don't honestly think it's anything super special, but you know what? If you have the mechanical skill, it's not as painful as some of the other NSX weapons by any mean. And, in general, it's just a decent gun. I can't really call it any more than that, though, because... Ultimately, if you have the mechanical skill to be consistently clicking heads with this gun, it generally gets outperformed by other better options, such as the Vandal in terms of scout rifles, uh, close quarters bolt actions if you're on Infiltrator, most LMGs to be totally honest, assault rifles, even most carbines to be honest. The amount of skill this gun demands out of the box largely does not justify its overall performance, outside of four headshotting people at really long ranges that you're not competitive at anyway, or that you rather shouldn't be playing at anyway. It's not bad, 
it just gets outclassed. And that is really the downside of the Tomo. It is an Araxium, it is certainly one of the NSX Araxiums. But outside of that... Eh, I think it's hard to... I think it's hard to justify picking up and running. It's decent, it's decent, and I honestly don't have a whole lot to say on it, unfortunately, because it's just... It's just a mediocre weapon. It's an automatic scar rifle with no damage drop-off. What do you think? It... I would personally call it better than most of the other scouts, barring the A-50, or rather the auto scouts. But, still... It's not anything special. You should absolutely not be in a rush to pick this one up, as... If you really want to rush a scout rifle, you're better off rushing a Vandal, which is generally a much more competitive weapon, and will scale much more effectively with, man with mechanical skill. Whereas the Tomo is extremely demanded on mechanical skill, but doesn't really offer a whole lot over other weapons. It's decent, and I'm going to keep saying this because I don't want you to think it's a bad weapon. It is a decent gun. By all means, it is just a decent scout rifle. And honestly, there's no situation where you'll probably feel like the gun will let you down, provided you have a mechanical aim to actually make it work. But there will also be a lot of situations where you have to kind of accept the fact that if you had a different weapon, you probably would have gotten that one more kill or stayed alive just that little bit longer. It won't let you down, you'll just wish you had a different rifle instead. And, I mean, that's the trait with a lot of the NSX lineup, unfortunately, but the Tomo, I would argue, is one of the worst hitters for it. It, does, is it doesn't bring a genuinely unique gimmick to the table that other weapons do not see in their class. It's actually a useful trade-off, might I add. For example, I don't believe the Tanto is a good weapon. I believe the Tanto is one of the worst carbines in the game. However, it does have to be noted for its perfect accuracy, and, assuming you have a mechanical skill, you can head chain with it really easily. You can still do this with every other carbine just about better, but at least it brings that unique gimmick. The Naginata, I think, is shit here, but at least it has the funny Kona Fire thing going for it. That is not seen on any other weapon in that class. Having no damage drop-off and being a headshot-focused scout rifle isn't really that unique or actually useful in this class, because you'll want to be headshotting anyway, and with guns such as the Vandal, this is a terrible fight by the way, with guns such as the Vandal, they'll just outperform the Tomo. And even, here's the thing, even if you're headshotting people and planking them at range for 250 damage with the headshots, the Vandal does the same thing on body. Sure, it fires significantly slower, but it's also significantly better as a whole. I nearly just ate that rocket. That could have been supremely unfortunate. So, it's one of the least gimmicky NSO weapons, I would argue, which makes it good, because a lot of the NSO, NSO weapons kind of just suck because they have shitty gimmicks, or their gimmicks pay too much to get... or they pay too much to have those gimmicks. It doesn't really feel like the Tomo has a particular gimmick once you get used to it for a while. It just feels like an automatic scout that's actually kind of decent. But... In a world where the Vandal exists, it just doesn't really have much of a whole purpose. And that's the recap here. It's not a bad weapon by any means. It's still a decent scout rifle, and I would wager it's better than the other... I would wager it's better than the other auto scouts, perhaps barring the A-50. But... On the whole, if you have the mechanical skill to make the Tomo truly shine, you have the mechanical skill to make the Vandal truly shine instead. And that will just do you much better overall. It's not bad, it just gets outshined by the Vandal. If you really, really want an auto scout with no drop off, it's fine. If you really like auto scouts, it's fine. But for anyone looking to get into scout rifles, I would pick the Vandal over it. It's just, it's just outshined. So, Thank you all, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye.